Well, hello there. Come on in. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I was just going over your chimney inspection report, but now that you're here, make yourself comfortable. Let's go over it together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, what a great looking house. Uh, super location too, by the way. Uh, let's take a look at the tops of the chimney. So we've got a stainless steel cap up here keeping the birds and the uh, squirrels and stuff out. But we also have some cracks in the crown. Let's see if we got a little closer shot of that. Uh, these cracks allow water to get down in the body of the chimney. No doubt this is a leaky uh, crown and it needs to be re-poured and I've given you a price on doing that. Let's take a look at the inside. So we've got a uh, working set of vented gas logs. You can see they operate here. It's got a little toggle switch right here on the right and that's how it turns. It's a simple on-off operation. You just push it to the on position, push it to the off position. Um, here's a close-up of that switching system right there for you. Damper's working well, working damper. Always remember uh, with uh, these types of gas logs, the damper must uh, remain open uh, all the time. It requires a damper block actually be installed in there. And this is me holding the damper block up. Somebody had just left it at the bottom of the fireplace because the uh, pilot was shut off. They weren't using it. Um, when you go to use the fireplace, you get the Piedmont gas to come and light the pilot. You want to make sure that they reinstall the damper block in there for you. Damper blocks are not only code required in the state of North Carolina, they happen to be um, uh, very safe for you. It's a, it's a safety item. In other words, if you were to close the damper in the summertime, which makes good sense, right, and forgot to open it in the uh, wintertime or fall and started up those logs, you'd fill the house up with something you couldn't see or smell and that's carbon monoxide. So the damper must remain open 24-7 uh, whenever that pilot is lit. Uh, flu system looks good. These are just spider webs in there, no problems with that. Folks have questions for me, give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.